What's going on guys? So back in front of the camera, it's really cold out, like zero degree with the wind chill. I went and visited my mom, had a little visit with her. I did a little blip on the flip today. I like that, a little blip on the flip. That may be a good little title for the next video. But I ordered a flip for whatever that is worth. But this video, I wanna talk about the new geofencing thing that they put in place as of yesterday, the 13th, January, 2025. I am in a red zone by an airport right now. I have my Neo and I have my Mini 4 Pro with me. And I'm gonna put the Mini 4 Pro not in the air because I'm still in a restricted airspace, but apparently there's an update to the app and the geofencing side of things where instead of actually having to go and put your name and everything, all you have to do is click a checkbox. So they essentially lifted having to do much in order to fly, that doesn't mean you can fly anywhere. That just means they loosened things up and kind of left it up to us for safety, which is a good thing for those who know and care, but not a good thing for those who are flying in the planes in California. A lot of responsibility still comes with the drone pilot. And let's go ahead and just see really quickly. I don't really know my friend in New York who is in charge of a lot of the government agency drone stuff. He's like, I think he's in charge of hundreds of drones, but regardless, I don't know where everything is. I have my Mini 4 Pro over here. So this little guy, and I probably could take the props off, but I'm not going to because they're too hard with the Mini 4 Pro, but I just won't launch it because I am in a restricted airspace zone. So I don't know, I haven't tested this. I barely even know much about this. So that would be kind of cool. I always own some Autel because of the no geofencing thing with Autel, which is really nice. You never have to worry. You could launch anywhere you want, no matter what. But at the same time, that doesn't mean you can. So just because you can doesn't mean you should, essentially. So let's just go ahead and see. I haven't even flown this in a second. So we'll put this aside. We'll power this guy on. little mini 4 pro still probably cooler than the flip and more capable than the flip in a lot of ways but another video so let's go ahead and power this guy on we're gonna put this up here boom I'm gonna grab my controller for this drone which is the RCN2 God, I haven't even flown this drone in a second. So let's see, we'll put the sticks in this guy. There's still some sand from Hawaii in my bag that just was on my remote. We're gonna go ahead and power this guy on. I did the update to the Fly app. So the latest update was, I'll do a screen recording to start this guy. Let's see if it's recording. It is. So the new fly app was this one. So version 1.16.0 added support for DJI Flip compatible with DJI RCN3, DJI RCN2, DJI RC2 remote controllers. So let's see what happens when we go ahead and plug this into the remote and I'm gonna go ahead now mind you we are in a restricted zone so I'm gonna show you that by going into an app such as air control and do you see where I'm at I'm in a red zone meaning I can see the airport and the tower to the left of me so we should not be flying in the zone so class D airspace blah 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 so let's go ahead into the Fly app. And let's connect to the aircraft. Mini 4 Pro, God, it's been a second. So it says unable to, cur okay, so let's update the firmware really quickly. Download. So there's always something going on. DJI keeps on changing things. It's really hard to keep up with everything that's constantly going on in the industry. I mean, I applied for the waiver for the Mini 4 Pro to fly over people. That got approved. That's pretty cool. 
So they're loosening things up in a way, which is weird because in actuality, it seems like they should be tightening things up, but don't want that to happen, obviously, for those who follow the rules, but for the people flying in the planes and being really stupid, you know, kind of scary a little bit. So DJI RCN2, this is the remote that I'm using for the Mini 4 Pro. And we shall see what happens. Hopefully this is a quick update. But if that's all we need to do now is click a checkbox, essentially it's the same thing as an Autel drone. So you know, you have the power to do what you want and fly it doesn't mean you should, and I'm not endorsing that, of course, but sometimes with the hotel, for example, say I'm doing a real estate job and I can't take off because of something or there's an issue with the unlock or something that is, you know, something's not getting to me, like the code, I'll launch the hotel, usually not more than 100 feet. You could see it. There's nothing that's going to cause any danger, like an airplane or something, but it's just one of those things where it comes in handy if you're doing this for a job. So searching for the aircraft, I'll probably have to depress the back button. So I'll hold the power button, wait for it to beep, and it's probably going to want to pair after it doesn't find. So unable to pair, aircraft beeped, pair. Doot, 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 doot. Okay, so there I am, put it in auto mode, restricted zone, see that? So right now, restricted zone, if I try to take off, I can hear airplanes going, let's see what happens. Aircraft in restricted zone, unable to take off, right? So that's what we're finding out right now at the moment. So let's go and see if we have an update to anything. So new DJI Mini 2 Pro firmware available. So still screen recording. I'm gonna install, look at more. It says fix some known issues. So essentially I'm gonna to have to let this thing download. Hopefully it's not gonna to take too long. But in theory, if this goes through the correct way, it's gonna just allow us to click a checkbox and start the props and fly if we really wanted to. Doesn't mean again we should, but let's test this out and see. This is real life, I don't know. A friend of mine said maybe a good video, so this is why I'm doing it. To find out for myself and share real time what's going on with you. So Mini 4 Pro, kind of a good sign that it's saying new firmware available. That means things are changing, and ideally this is coming with the change as of yesterday the 13th, so let's see. 16%. Now it's just a matter of time waiting for this to download. But I did order a flip. I ordered the one with the RCN3. I could use the RCN3 with the Neo and the flip and got a couple weeks to decide if I want it or not. I figure order the base model. It wasn't too much, $500. I didn't even order an extra battery or anything. I don't like smart controllers, so I didn't opt for any of those. And we'll see, we'll give it a whirl. I mean, it definitely does not seem like a super exciting drone. To me, this is gonna be my little thing. I think it looks like Neo's big brother of a drone. That's one thing. I mean, it's kind of an in-between the Neo and the Mini 4 Pro, even though I think the Mini 4 Pro will still smoke it. But the Neo has some of those cool features like following you and not needing to use your remote to fly. This is going to be a little bit more capable of a drone. 4K 60, 4K 100 frame per second, I believe. You know, nicer still files, larger, can handle wind better. 3-axis gimbal, blah, blah, blah. So I'll do a more thorough review of it when I get it. Hopefully it will be here. I would have hoped within two weeks usually is probably a realistic time frame. Maybe sooner, we'll see DJI. And we're at 47%, so more talking story. I thought the drone would be a lot smaller. The Neo, you know, I mean, this thing is not a big drone. So the flip seems larger than this. It definitely is larger than the Neo. And I really do like the small form factor of 
the drone like a Neo. And for $200, definitely one of the most fun drones you can buy for just fun factor. I mean, it really is a no regret type drone, 200 bucks, not a big deal. You lose it, you crash it, no matter what, even if you don't like it, it's not gonna be something that doesn't bring a smile to you when you fly it. Hopefully this update will unlock what we want with the launching near an airport or launching easily in a restricted airspace just because it will loosen things up and make it nicer. So 77% installing, 83. Come on, let's go, 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 go. 86, a watched pot never boils, mama used to say. So with mom, I visited my mom who has dementia. It's really hard with this weather. It's hard to bring them anywhere. You really can't because it's just too cold for them. There's not so much to do in these facilities. I brought her on a couch and sat her in the sunlight and just kind of hugged on her and loved on her a little bit or a lot of it, but there's only so much to do. I wanted to do another video and it's really hard to keep the balance and not feel guilty with that whole caregiving thing, but I do my best. I try to be a good son. I think I'm doing my job as a son and a loving one at that. To honor her like she did with me, I was adopted. She adopted me, you know, and took care of me like a saint and was always there. So the, the one person in life can totally count on was my beautiful mom. So that's why I'm there for her. And you should too, if you have a beautiful mom or a dad. So 93%, 94. Come on, baby, let's go. I'm curious to see what's gonna happen. I don't know. If I could actually launch or start the props, I'm not gonna obviously fly, but if I could start the props by an airport after you just saw what was going on, let me make sure it's still doing a recording. It is, it'll be a cool, day in the drone industry for DJI drone owners. Ah, this cold weather stinks. It definitely is not like Hawaii. Hawaii, you get out of the car, so the drone's restarting. There we go. That's a good sign, almost done. But when you're getting out of the car to get gas, for example, everyone's happy, smiling, reggae music playing, you're going to get a slushy or something. <laughs> Here you freeze ass and it just stinks. Everyone's miserable in a way and not really loving it. So, okay, that's installed. Got it. The Neo will make you smile. Indeed, the Neo will make you smile. So now fly safe requires update. So this, okay, so it powered it off. So this could be it, baby. This may be it. This is exactly what I was hoping because that's what we want. We want the fly safe requires an update. So that is what should unlock the new feature allowing us to launch basically anywhere. So let's see what happens. Update. So this is basically saying the whole fly safe data is designed to help pilots better understand flight risks, blah, blah, blah. I can't really read all that. It's so small but it's basically giving the fly safe update spiel. And this should, as I said, as of yesterday, the 13th, unlock this drone and allow it to launch right now. Comes more responsibility for us drone owners, but there really isn't a reason to fly illegally. Yeah, I get it. We all probably push it. We fly a little beyond visual line of sight or maybe a little higher than 400 feet at times. I'm not advocating that or whatever, but at the same time, really understand people are up there in manned aircrafts and we do have a real responsibility flying over people, whatever it may be. So follow the laws, play by the rules, and don't be that guy, like Greg would always say from Pilot Institute. So now this guy's updating, 86%, 91%. Oh, fingers crossed, baby. Come on, come on, yes, yes, yes. 100%, okay. Update successful. <sighs> Drum roll, please. Okay, go fly. Takeoff permitted. Holy crap, bolas, baby. Look at this. I agree to assume full liability for flying in this area. Now, that's the thing. You do take on a massive amount of responsibility by clicking this checkbox right here on your controller. So don't just think it's no big deal and I'm gonna take off. But look with this. 
Holy sheep shit. Boom. That's it. I don't want to push my luck by the airport, but look at that. All within an update with the firmware and the fly safe. Boom. Baby, it's on. No, but at the same time, just cool, exciting, and it did actually take effect. So know this, subscribe if you haven't, hope this helps, and yeah, don't just think that this allows us to do anything we want, because it doesn't, so please play by the rules, and subscribe if you haven't, aloha guys, peace, and let me know what you think, and yeah, cool.